Welcome, lady. It's quiet now. Everything's quiet. I can talk about my research now, if you want. Okay. Good. Good. <clears throat> now, I found several exploits in the secret system. I did some <clears throat> preliminary tests, and my predictions were right. Just for, for the first step, the next step, I'm going to need to get closer to the to the offline world where the people are. Starting small, I used the exploit to create a virus. New, invisible, undetectable. You bet I am. You know the city where the people are. I need you to upload the virus to vending machines. Huh? <laughs> Five uploads to different machines should do it. If it works out, the virus will give us a cut. A cut of every transaction. It will look like a statistics error on their books. But us will be getting paid. Then I can move on, a step closer to the next step. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> Illegal. By whose laws? We won't be stealing money from people. Just the people holding the laws. Those machines, they are owned by three corporations. Probably one, if you go high enough. All over the world they are. They owe us. Good call. Now, all you need to do is upload a sample of the virus to five vending machines around the city. I will observe the results from the shadows. Find me when you've done it, and I might have some compensation for you. Good to see you, lady. Been monitoring your progress with the vending machines. Every single one is running. We have them, girl. We are undetected. Every transaction is dripping a share into my account. It's working. Yeah, you guessed it. Now is the reward I promised. Some old memory chips, how about that? Bet you're glad you caught onto my coattails, huh? No, oh, thank you, girl. Now, I just need time to analyze all the incoming data. Then I can progress with my research. I have your network signature. I will contact you. Myself. Goodbye for now. We're coming for them. <laughs> we are.
It's you. Do you have any news? The Aphrodite... So... That's why she was so cagey about her work. Please, will you go there? Talk to her. She must know where Shen is. of my father Issa's traditional preparation. Please, let me show off just a little taste of my kofte kebab. Bedava, for free. Don't be shy now. <laughs> yes, yes. So, you like it? Ah, she likes it. Here's the menu. Yes, miss. A green thumb I have. A passion for the nature. My little island of color in a graying world. Everything is genetically engineered these days. So sad. It is like we put Mother Nature in the back room and told her she can't cook for the guests. Miss. Now you flatter me. I try my best. It is true. I use only natural ingredients. All natural. I grow them myself. At least, I did. My last seeds, I use today. You taste them now. A sorry day. The corporations, of course. Biopharmtech and their patents. How can you patent fruits? Vegetables? Spices? Yes, even spices. They say I cannot grow cumin. That cumin is patented. I must buy it from them. And then I go to their stores and they don't sell the seeds, just the cumin powder. Something about health and hygiene, they tell me. But how can you make real kofte with powders in packets? All the flavor gone. No appreciation of old Adana. never ask you to take such a risk. These people, these people, you prick them with thorns, they shoot you with lead. But of course, if you ever happen to stumble upon a bag or two of cumin seeds, I'd happily take them off your hands, happily and generously. Not in our offices, only staff and paper then. So much paper, and our forests fast becoming a memory. But yes, human seeds. Try looking around the docks, uh, in the warehouses. All deliveries go through there. But you better hope for the luck, my friend. Me? 
Who is this, dear? A lady. From the outside. I thought... I thought maybe she could help. Just maybe. I'd have to die, right? I don't know my mother would allow that. We need a donor. Some already passed on, or, or a bioengineered piece. But that's more expensive. Um, around 700. We have some savings, so 500 would be enough. schedule the operation. Mum, you will be fine. You'll be fine. I don't know how to thank you. Thank you? Please, lady, take this as a token of my uh, gratitude. It's an old family medallion of our Lord and Saviour. Jesus Christ. It belonged to my mother and my grandmother, and now it belongs to you. I insist. Now, rest. Thank you. May God watch over you forever and uh, always. Prettiness. What you calling for today? Hmm. Let me take a look. Handmade, I'd be guessing. Gold. From the Great War thereabouts. That there mosaic is the Christ Pentocrator from Hagia Sophia, Byzantium. I'll get on at finding out about its wherefroms, but I can say right off it's a good piece. 600, right? Not liable to miss it, hmm? Suit yourself. Here's the cash. Pleasure doing business with you. Till next time, then, sister. to the Aphrodite. May I call you Claire, Claire de Lune? I'm Lily, your maitre d'. Now, what will be your warmer? Drink, pill, 
or do you like to go in cold? Oh, darling, take a look around. Is it really so mystifying? The Aphrodite is where pleasure turns and needs uncurl. You may order a drink, relax, and enjoy the show. When your uh, inner calls, come to me for a private room with one of our celestials. Your interest flatters me, Mademoiselle de Lune. My, my story is simple. This is my world, as it has always been. Only now, it is also my empire. So, flesh and bloods are your taste. A connoisseur's choice. But we have many connoisseurs. Shen is occupied right now. If you have money and patience, you may take him next. Oh, the charmant. A flesh and blood is a virgin of alteration. A pure man. All man. No augmentations. They're most rare in the pleasure business. And most prized. I can give you three guesses. Shen works for me. And for a price, I can put him to work on you. So, Chen Tao sent you. How adorable. But my favorite acquisition is staying. And that is his choice. Love binds, darling. Now why don't you forget this nonsense and enjoy some Aphrodite Selexir yourself? When a woman knows what she wants, she gets it. Toshan, he knows how to please. All the right augmentations in all the right places, if you know what I mean. And of course there is Shen. He comes with my personal recommendation. A higher price. But for that, you are sore. Of course you will. Now, if we could just settle the small matter of 600 credits. And why exactly should you receive a discount? Still a little green around the gills. You're right. Perhaps you could learn him a little? Okay, fine. You can have your lesson for 400. Of course. 400 credits, if you will. I sensed you were an adventurer. Enjoy, darling. You, you are beautiful. My name, my name's Shen. I'm here for your happiness. Please relax, okay? My job is your pleasure. Out there, Lily takes care of me here, there. You ever done Exalta? Cause you really should. What? Hold the hurry, lady. I I'm not going anywhere. My girlfriend, my job, my fun. Tell Chun Tao I'm staying. My kitchen days are done. Why would you even say that? I 
heard her talking to a client yesterday. The way she spoke to him, it hurt. I've tried not to think about it. Okay, okay. Perhaps you're right, a break. I'll go home just for a little while, just for a break.
I wasn't told of no coming throughs. Who are you? Second door on the left. But, uh, are you sure there's nothing else? <laughs> End up. I chose this profession, darling. You really think them tie wearers have more fun behind their desks than I have beneath my silky snoots? Do you? When you're born as fine as I, it doesn't take long to work out where your money's coming from. It was just natural I'd invest in being ultra. <laughs> Every part of me optimized for pleasure, honey. Aphrodite, huh? Well, just good things, of course. Lily's a, a tough love kind of gal, but she made this club. Takes down competition quicker than pantyhose. Scooped up the pros, then cut the amateurs with a... Lily ain't no ordinary lady, sugar. This here is me all crying shame. Not everyone is cut out for this job, sugar. Shen's living and the camera says you spoke to him last. Now, I don't know what you said, but you stay the hell away from my family here, okay? I care about time and money. And a lot of both walked out that door with Shen. You are lucky that I'm even letting you walk in. Now, what do you want? I never get chance to thank you. Shen's back, and he told me you were one who convinced him to leave. Here, please, take this, please. It's reward, I promise. I know it's not much, but please, I... We owe you so much. He a okay. Thank you. No, I lie. He not any okay. Shen very sick. That bitch! He told me they took pill together. And now all I hear is, get me Exalta. Please, Exalta. He wake me in night, begging me to find some. He won't eat. I tried everything. Oh, how can I... Please, please take this. All you do is help us. All you do is good. Thank you. Hello again, Dex. What can I do for you? Poor guy lost his wife and kid that was shooting a few years back. Caught in a crossfire. How's that for a life of misfortune in a flash, huh? The only thing that keeps poor home going is feeling useful. Go easy on it. Hmm. Makes perfect sense. I just never imagined those small-time punks would pull off a racket of this scale. So... Our next target is this shipment at the docks, huh? Let me see. Munitions, weaponry, I take hardware. I bet there'll be neural weaves on board. Listen, 
If you can get into that warehouse before True Body does, sneak in past the guards, you'll have just what we need. And while you're at it, maybe there's something else you could do? <laughs> if we're gonna stop this scourge, we need to find out where they're hiding. Now, here's a small tracker. Attach it to a weapons crate. If True Body are gonna steal weaponry, as they say, that crate should lead us right to them. You lost Darlin. The docks. All storms and plain sailing. Honest seamen most. A few bad seed. Land is all. The cops keep an eye on us, but they let us get on with our business for the most. As long as you don't get in their way, you're free to do what you will. And the whole lot of business is going through here. It isn't just the gulls that are circling. Me? Whatever needs to be done. A lot of fishing, some transport. All thanks to be trusty Clara. And we'll treat ourselves to a tipple from time to time too. Don't say that word, woman! You'll curse the both of us! Clara's me boat, and that's all you need to know. But some kind of beaut, isn't she? Aye, sure. That there. Uh, warehouse. Follow me finger. There. Why are you asking? Did you miss your delivery or something? Ah, straight to the point, aren't you? Well, there were a few soldiers inside making the rounds, I can tell you that. There'll be cameras, alarms and drones too, but nothing a lassie like you can handle. You're not the first to be sniffing around. There must be something of value in there. I'd be careful if I were you. That I did, I. Last night, some punks sneaking about and snapping with cameras. Planning to get in, I'll bet you. Well, every cargo here got registered on the port's network, you see. And... Hey! Hey! That there's some kind of question! If you're gonna do something stupid, leave me the barnacle out of it, alright? I'm an upstanding citizen. What trouble are you brewing, woman? Don't you go dropping my name with the sinkers. You're hooking for a shark with crab bait, ya. You're cursed, woman. Fine. I'll tell, but my words die with ye, and if I'm doing the judging, that'll be afore long. If you can get into the dock's security grid, through there you'll access the security in any warehouse. At least, that's what me techie pals were bantering on about. Easiest would be that building right behind us, the control centre it is, but it'll be well guarded. If you manage, it'll make your life easier getting in that warehouse. Hey, hang on a minute there. How are you going to hack anything? Aren't you a lassie?
again, Dex? What can I do for you? Yep, and it's not in the docks anymore. Looks like you were lucky to get in there before they did. Now, the signal shows they're somewhere in Taijo, probably in one of the warehouses there. Look, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. There's no reasoning with these guys. They're insane, drivel-spouting, gun-waving, insane. And they're murderers. If you want to put an end to their operation, you're gonna have to neutralize them, plain and simple. <laughs> I wish I could help, but uh, I'd be about as much use in a fight as a rectangular marshmallow. But I'll make sure you're rewarded if you get the job done, though. Well, 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 good job. Quite the resourceful one, aren't you? It's clear, but what else Dicker sees in you? So, uh, here we are, everything in place. How about we get right down to it? That small business of making you ultra-human. Here you are, just a small injection. There. There. Ah, you should be feeling drowsy already. Oh! <laughs> oh, silly me. My old head getting in a muddle. There, there, don't worry. You're quite safe here with me. Relax now. You wake up, you'll be a new woman. Damn, all things in shining armor. Yeah, yeah, coming. We should take a look at that. Did you see that spiking? And that's at zero stimulation. And she's asleep, damn it. Unbelievable. Her brain should fry out her ears just for being there. Who is she, Decker? She's a whole lot more than some sweet tush. Niles, if you ever tell anybody about this, you and me have a problem. Another problem. Fine, fine. Message received. Jeez, just curious was all. Feeling. Didn't bring no flowers, so don't get excited. I was in the area, is all. Listen up, Blue. I'm real sorry to put you through this, but it's the only way. Gotta improve if you're gonna stay gunning. No worries. I want it to be. Niles, you got something to say? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry about the anesthetic mix-up thing. Right. I'll get back to Tony's. Need to talk to Raycast. In the meantime, Blue, why don't you get acquainted with this part of the city? Shake off that dizziness. When you're good, come meet me. We should have a P of A by then. Plan of action. 